Hi, welcome to my channel. That's crazy. This is uh, my African Grey Parrot, Lilu. Um, in today's video, I wanted to kind of talk about uh, foraging toys. Um, so first of all, what is foraging toys? Um, basically, it's anything you give your bird that they can sit there and just uh, destroy it. You can also use it um, for snacks and treats as well. You can hide things and, you know, basically make them work for their food or for their treats um, like they would in the wild. Cause they, in the wild, they would actually spend all day just trying to, you know, um, forage for their food. So first one I'm going to show you is this one here, just because I'm actually going to give it to her right now so she can sit there and play with that um, as we do the rest of this video. So here's uh, one that I wanted to show you. Um, she's already been playing with this. There actually used to be three boxes here and she's uh, completely destroyed one of them already. But they basically enjoy pulling stuff like this out. Another thing you can do too is take like nuts and stuff them inside of here. So they, you know, try to tear this apart looking for the treats. Um, I can't do that unfortunately because Lilu does not like nuts. And uh, I don't want to stick blueberries in here um, because the blueberries will go bad after a while and, you know, it will probably take them quite some time to, uh, you know, chew through this. And so you don't want them to find five day old blueberry. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind when you're making foraging toys like this or you're using toys like this for foraging for treats that if it's something uh, perishable, um, think about how long do you think your bird's going to be able to get to it. Um, so if it takes, if it's going to, you know, be more than one day, then definitely don't use something that is perishable. Use something like nuts. So there's that one. So next one I want to show you guys here. Um, I really enjoy this one. It's, uh, one of the, my, uh, favorite ones to use. So when you buy it, it actually comes with all this stuff inside where they can chew these, uh, wooden blocks and then also that, uh, like tissue paper type stuff. But when they're all done with that, and this is empty, you can use this for just about anything, really. So, kind of show you. So this opens up, and then you can uh, take, you know, jalapenos, you can take um, green beans, or you know, maybe some celery, or just about anything and stuff it in there. Um, but what I like to use it for, and Lily really likes, is um, corn. So this whole thing will fit right inside there. Another really cool thing about this too is uh, the fact that a whole thing of corn will fit in here and it will actually take her a couple of hours to fully chew through it. So it keeps her entertained for quite some time. So yeah, I really enjoy that one. Here's another simple one. This one here, I kind of have some stuff on it already, but it's basically just a shish kebab. You, I have a jalapeno and bell pepper on here right now, but I mean, you could even, you know, take a huge thing of like uh, broccoli and, you know, stuff it on here or, or basically anything really. So there's that one. And we have this one here too. This uh, is like a little ball. And so that opens up and then you can just stuff it full of just about anything. And so um, out of all the foraging toys, these two here are probably my favorite. So I'll normally uh, put the corn in here and I don't give her corn every single day because it's got too much sugar in that for them. So when I'm not using this for the corn, I'm using this for other vegetables. So this one, I'm actually going to show you how to make it up, and I'm going to uh, let Lilu here uh, play with it. So, Okay, so I got all this stuff that I'm going to put inside of here for the foraging toy. I'm just going to take the stem of the jalapeno and go ahead and chop that off. And we're going to cut this into pieces. So then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to uh, stuff the blueberries down inside the jalapenos just like that. 
Just got to kind of cut a little bit of it out so it'll fit in there like that. So she'll be tearing up these uh, jalapeno pieces looking for these blueberries. We'll put those in first. I got some broccoli here we can put in there as well. Little pieces like that. I'm going to take some celery, cut up some pieces and stick it in there as well. That. And then some green beans. Just like that. And also, we're going to do a strawberry. A strawberry will kind of help her realize that there are some pretty um, good stuff hiding in here somewhere. So. Just kind of put those random places, maybe stuff in bigger chunks in other places. So about like that. And this just screws on top. You do got to be careful though, you got to line it up perfectly because if you don't, you could accidentally cross thread it. This thing's really, really super easy to accidentally cross thread. I've done it a couple times. But, yeah. And just like that. Kind of mix it up so strawberries kind of get on the bottom. And then I'm going to stuff some more um, green beans in it as well. Just through the sides here, like that. And that should do it. Well, here's that ball. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put it on the side of her cage right here. See, she's running for it already. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on the side here. Just like that. Oh, she found the uh, green beans. She doesn't eat the whole green beans, she just eats um, the pods inside of there, so she chews those out and then she drops the rest of it. And yeah, how, how much I stuff this full, this probably will keep her entertained for, I would say, probably at least an hour. So yeah, she just tears into it. Lots of it ends up on the floor. But she's mainly trying to go after those blueberries. Now, when she's doing this too, when she's shredding up the uh, vegetables like that, she is actually getting some of that nutrients because some of it is being digested. So if they're just chewing up their vegetables, that's still good. Oh, she got some strawberry there. But yeah. I think that's going to do it for the video today. Um, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this. Uh, until next time, we'll see ya.